Hello, my name is Teresa Bockwold and I'm coming to you today from Lobato LLC with your two minute accounting tip of the day. Today we're going to talk about month end close checklists and how that can be beneficial to your organization. A month end close checklist is nothing more than a Word or Excel document that itemizes the steps in your close process to help you remember what you need to do for, the, for that period. It could be the quarter, it could be the month, it could be the week. It just depends on what, what is applicable to you. We recommend putting such details on there such as perhaps recurring journal entries that need to be posted every month, along with recurring accruals. One at Vibato that we'd like to recommend to our clients is the need to call up your attorneys or call up your accountants or call up your you know, tax accountants, uh, you know, anyone who you have a recurring relationship with that you expect to receive an invoice from. Call them up, put that reminder on the checklist to call them so you don't forget so that you can post you know, appropriate accruals for that period based on their answers of what they're going to be charging you. Other items that could go on there include balance sheet prime account reconciliations, performing your fixed asset depreciation, other journal entries that you know you need to post. It could even go into such detail as reminding yourself to have new employees sign the code of conduct attestations if that's something that you're doing at your company. Those are the types of things that help keep you organized help make your audit easier, help make sure that at the end of the day you have everything you need to get through that process and then go home at the end of the day and not have to work you know, 100 hours a week. We hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.